Weebly review, Weebly tutorial, how to make a free website using Weebly. So what is going on guys? In today's tutorial video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step how you can actually create a completely free website just using a tool called Weebly. This is going to be a tutorial video walking you through the steps on creating your very own custom beautiful website right now like today you know using weebly so make sure to watch this video till the end make sure to follow all the steps step by step and let's get started so before we begin the first step is to click the top link down below in the video description all right so let's just do that and we'll start the video now all right so as you can see on screen right here we're on weebly now weebly is going to be great for you if you want to create your very own beautiful website if you want to create your own online store if you even want to create like your own course like maybe for your students or even just a course to sell and you know host that on a website you can do that using weebly as well there's lots of different things weebly can be useful and quite frankly if you just want to have your own free website um obviously a high quality free website whatever the reason may be weebly is going to be beneficial for you because again this tutorial is going to be helping you make a free website and at the same time i'm going to be walking you step by step through the whole process so you can actually have your own beautiful three website okay now as you can obviously see we are on the website right here so the first step before we even begin today's video is to click the top link down below to actually come to this page so you can actually follow along with me throughout the video and literally like you know um do what i'm doing throughout the video so like feel free to like pause the video from time to time to like follow my step-by-step -step guide so you can actually end up with like a website as well for free right so as you can see there's a lot of templates we can choose from um, we can click here to create your website and get started um, but before we actually do that i want to go over to pricing right here and just talk about like what they actually offer um, because today's video is going to be teaching you how you can create a free website just know in advance that they do actually have like paid plans obviously so this is in australian dollars by the way so if you're in america or anywhere else throughout the world this pricing is going to be different right anyway so when you get started with weebly you want to make sure you choose the free plan right here um you don't have to get any of these plans whatsoever um, the only annoying part with like Weebly is that obviously using a website builder like Weebly, there's going to be restrictions, unfortunately, if you like compare that to like having like your own website using like WordPress and then hosting your WordPress website, because again, WordPress is actually for free. You can install plugins using WordPress. Then obviously you can use like Bluehost to like basically host that website, which is also pretty cheap. And I actually have a video tutorial teaching you how to make a WordPress website if you want to like make a WordPress website and have like full functionality. So again, I'll leave a link down below to this video as well if you want to learn how to make a WordPress website instead of a Weebly website, but that's up to you. I'll be honest with you right now wordpress is more geared towards people who want to create like a website that's going to be ranking on top of the search for google like an authority website so wordpress is going to be more ideal for people who want to build their own businesses really um in my personal opinion but um yeah i just wanted to like you know throw that out there so again if we go to pricing right here you need to actually pay to connect your own custom domain which leads me to another thing we need to talk about in today's video and that's the fact that you need to get your own custom domain for your website again you can just use a subdomain and we'll talk about that in a second you don't actually have to have like your own custom domain to connect to weebly you can just use their subdomain so it's going to be like your website.weebly.com but you know if you want to have your own brand um, i'll strongly recommend getting some sort of domain but again you don't have to if you just want to you know make a website completely for free and i will also leave a link down below to their promo and deals page like the name cheap promos and deal page right here so you can actually find some massive discounts if you want to get like a domain or anything like that but um yeah i just want to quickly talk about their pricing so obviously their pricing varies based on like what you want to do so if you want to be an online store it's going to vary as well so one more thing i want to talk about regarding online stores and e-commerce is that if you do want to actually use a professional e-commerce software i'll strongly recommend a tool called shopify and yeah guys i mean you can also get a free trial right here so you can actually get a 14 day free trial and start using the tool completely for free to create your own online store i believe you do have to pay after that so you know that's a bit of, a bit of like a disclaimer just to be like aware like a bit of a heads up but you can actually use this for free to see if it's going to be like a ride for you if you want to build like your own e-commerce store or online store but let's get back to the point of today's video which is going to be teaching you how to like you know get started with weebly now like i said before you can go through this pricing and see what like all these plans are for yourself but we can just go over here and go to like the free plan man and we can just get our own website up for free right so let's get started right so let's click on create our website to create our free Weebly account. And once you do that, you'll be taken to this page where you can just create your account for Weebly completely for free. So let me just go ahead and create a new account and yeah, we'll go on to the next step in just a moment. All right, so as you can see, Weebly's gonna ask us what kind of website we would like to create. So we can either create a website, like a normal website or an online store right here. So let's just click on, I just need a website for today's video. All right, let's just click on that. And as you can see, 
we can you know go ahead and start creating our website so as you can see it's loading right here and we're going to be prompted with some questions to make sure our website is created in the way we want to so the first thing we can do right here is actually choose a website theme right here like a website template that we can actually choose from so we can choose from some business templates right here we can choose from the portfolio personal you know websites if you want to create like your own personal website for your own name maybe you want a website for an event for an example maybe for a blog if you want to do blogging if you want to come in soon page you know there's a lot of other templates as well you can choose from so let's just go ahead and choose a template so let's just choose this one right here explore 14k that looks pretty nice so we can choose a theme so that's the first step take the time to go through the themes and start picking your own themes so we can right away start editing this so we can click on start editing our theme and as you can see it's creating our website for us so let's just let that load which is pretty cool now remember at the start of the video when i was talking about weebly how they have like you know their own paid plans and stuff well to actually connect your own domain to weebly so it's like your website.com it's actually go with their paid plan Plan, but that's fine you don't actually have to do that for now you can just create a website for free and use the subdomains so for example let's just go along with this and select a domain name for today's video so example for video.com okay let me just type that in let's just type in search and see what comes up now as you can see right here we can choose the domain right here and you know for that we actually have to like pay for it as like I said before we can just go along with this and again you have to upgrade your plan right here to connect your custom domain so if you want to create a free website with weebly you can just basically have your domain so example for video.weebly.com so that's exactly what you want to do so let's just change up this subdomain right here because this one isn't available so we can just click on search see if this one's available now um, and we can obviously choose this one right here. So when people go to our website, if we want to create a free website, instead of like going with their pay plans, we can just basically take them to this website right here. You know, example for video 122.weebly.com. So once you set up your domain or subdomain, if you want to create a free website, just click on done. And that's basically what you do. So that's the first step to getting your website up and running, right? Now let's start with the fun part, building our own website right now, right? So what we can basically do is like use these individual elements right here to basically like add our website to make it our own. So for example, if you want to put in your own website name, so if your name's like, I don't know, Bob Brown, you can put in Bob Brown right here, you know, Bob, Bob Brown's website, right? And what you can also do right here is change this. So we can put in your name here of your website. So again, Bob Brown, just as an example, right? And what you'll notice as well is that if you go to different pages within your website, so if we go to like the service page, your website name right here at the top left hand corner is still going to appear at the top left hand corner for like whatever page you're on within your website. So again, we have like a home page right here, a service page and about page. Um, and use page for this template as well. Depending on which template you chose during the start of today's video, it's gonna depend on what line pages you have on your website, right? So obviously this is a contact page and guys, we can basically customize this, all of this right here, um, depending on how we actually want to for each individual page on our website. So let's go back to the home page and we can start off, you know, editing the home page. So again, we can change the text, we can change this right here. So we can be like, you know, welcome, welcome to my cool website right and as you guys can see right here if you want to go to pages and like navigate through all your pages you can just click here on pages right here and go over here and navigate through all your pages and basically do what you want with each individual page now if you actually want to add each individual page what you want to do is click on build and you can you know add text to like you know um your page right here so if you want like a new text or a new headline you can put it right here if you don't like this for whatever reason we can go ahead and delete that no problem um, if you want to add like, you know, a paragraph text, so we can add like, you know, articles or like descriptions for our website, we can put that here as well. Um, what we can also do is, you know, um, add images. So if we want to add like more images right here, we can, you know, add an image right here. So we can just click on upload. We can search up random images. So for example, if we want like a picture of a car, we can go over here to search and, you know, choose a picture of a car right here to that we can actually add to our own website, which is pretty cool. Um, you want to obviously make sure that these images aren't copyrighted. So um, be, you know, careful with that. Um, you know, to make sure your images aren't copyrighted. So obviously, Weebly has their own warning regarding that. Or if you just have your own images, you can just upload, you know, a photo from your computer right here and, you know, add that image right here to your website. Um, so that's pretty easy as well. You can also, you know, modify these images right here. Um, so, you know, add image right here. We can replace the image by doing the same thing. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? So that's pretty much how we go about changing images. Then we can also add slideshows to our website right here. So we can add like a slideshow, you know, a simple slideshow, thumbnails on the bottom. Um, we can also add that as well. We can click on continue and add a slideshow to our website as well. And we can just basically upload the photos 
and you know have a slideshow so our website looks really professional so there's lots of different like tools right here that we can actually do you know spaces right here dividers all that type of stuff right so we can just go ahead and delete that we can delete this as well so you know special icons products categories there's more elements as well that we can choose from as you can see you know quotes surveys contact forms I mean, we can even add like our own YouTube video right here. So if you have like your own YouTube video, you can basically go right here. We can basically embed this video. So let's just go on YouTube real quick, actually. So if we go to YouTube, let's just find the first video that pops up. Okay, so the Alan Show, okay. Really random, doesn't really matter. Um, so if we go over here, you know, we basically clicked on this icon right here to embed our YouTube video. We can click over here and embed our video right here. We just click on enter. And there's obviously like spacing, you know, settings right here. There's advanced settings. If anyone goes to our website right here, you know, they can find this video of us. So in this case, it's about Alan. And we can obviously have some text right here explaining the video. So you can do that as well. It, obviously, it's going to be your own personal video. There's so many different things we can go over. And you can do this for each individual page, like I said before. So for your services page, you can add like a video. So let's just add like another video um right here to our services page so, because you can talk about like your services and what you're offering to people and obviously you can just embed a video right here as well okay so those are the main elements that we can actually add to our website pages now obviously we can go over here and add the background so if you don't like this like brown background right here we can up on an image right here and we can change that so we can just add an image right here we can choose from all these like you know default backgrounds right here so we can just choose um, I don't know, this surfing background for an example, we can click on select, so that's our new background. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cancel because I don't really like the way that looks. Um, and we can also go back to the home page. So if we go over to pages and we'll click on home, we can also like edit all of this as well. So if we go over here to theme, so let's just say you don't really like this theme too much. You could go ahead and go to theme right here and you can click on change theme and you can actually choose a brand new theme for your website if that's what you want to do, if you don't like our website. So we can always change this theme to whatever theme we want. So if you don't like this theme right here, we can choose this one right here for yoga. Um, of course, this can be customized towards any brand or business or quite frankly, any type of website or any niche. You know, if we want, for example, let's just say this template right here for your website or this one, we can choose that instead. And we can just, you know, do that. Um, we can also change the fonts for our entire website. We can change like, you know, Obviously right here, we can make this like aerial for an example. We can change like the size. So we can make this like 150. I think we can only make it to 100, so that's okay. We can make this bold, so it looks a bit more better. But there's also different things we can do. And we can do this for like all the text um, within like the actual page and website itself. We can obviously go over to theme options and modify all of this. So that's the theme section. We can always change our themes. Um, we can make this dark if we want. So um, it's going to be black right here instead of white. And we can make this light as well. So we can make this light again. So this text is going to be white now, which is cool. Um, you'll notice a di big difference like on the other pages as well when you change like the different types of like white and dark themes right here. Now we've covered like the pages obviously. Yeah, we can navigate through all of that. We can check out the SEO settings and stuff. If you want to rank your website, the visibility. We can go over to header and modify all of that. So we've covered all of that. We've covered like the actual um, individual like elements within the pages right here that we can actually apply to our website. Now, if we go over to apps, you can add apps, which are basically plugins as well to make your website like even more customized and even more unique, right? So you can search up like all these different like type of apps. As you can see, these are some of like the most popular apps right here. You like the Facebook like app, like the plugin right here. Um, most of them will be free. Some of them are paid apps, so you don't have to worry about that. But um, you can, you know, check out some of the apps right here, you know, that you can actually add to your own website. And you can, you know, add e-commerce apps. You can add communication apps, marketing apps for your website, you know, social apps. Um, you know, some site tools and features, all that type of stuff. So, you know, those are the apps and you can obviously search up apps right here as well in the search bar. Now, if we close that, you know, we can also go to settings right here to add like the general settings for our website. So obviously if you want to add like a domain to your website at any time, you can click on connect and transfer. You can change the name of your website right here. So you can make sure you show this title top of all your pages right here. So obviously for my website right here, for example purposes, I named it Bob Brown, right? You can change the category right here of your website to online store, business, portfolio, personal, event, blog, whatever it may be. You want to make sure your SSL is enabled. You can change the favor con right here to your own. Um, I think you have to upgrade for that, unfortunately. You can add a site password, navigation. So there's all this different information regarding settings. You know, these are the general settings right here. These are the SEO settings right here. Um, this is going to be the editor settings, the member settings. If you want to add like members and team members to your website to help you out, your apps and your blog. So all that information right here can be found in the settings. If you ever have any questions, you can go to help and support. Um, and I mean, that's pretty much it guys. So now, like once you actually go ahead and change all this and customize it towards your own business and your own brand or your own personal website or whatever it may be, or your own e-commerce store or your own course, whatever type of website you want to create. So if you just customize this and add elements and stuff and add your own images, and once you do all of that for all the pages, 
You can even like just make it public now, for example, and you can just, you know, gradually start editing your website over time to make it, you know, 100% unique. You can just click on publish right here. Once you click on publish, your website is actually going to be live on the internet. So as you can see, website is published. So all you have to do is just share this website with other people. And this website's going to be available for anyone who, you know, finds your website throughout the world. So as you can see right here, Bob Brown, the website is live. So anyone that goes to example for video 122.weebly.com is actually going to come on our website right here and they can just, you know, check out our website. And again, if you want to like the .com extension, so if we got like rid of this, um, obviously this isn't going to be live, but if you wanted to basically connect this right here, you can buy the domain through Namecheap right here. So if we go over here, you know, make sure this is connected, search for your domain. Um, we can go over here, see if our domain is available. We can just go ahead and buy it, add to cart. Um, real quick, I'll just show you like how it works. So we click on view cart. Um, and you want to make sure, you know, who is actually enabled because this is going to basically protect your privacy information. This is actually free. Um, but um, yeah, basically like if you buy a domain, you can just connect that with your Weebly account. And you can actually have a .com instead of like a Weebly.com domain. So that's what you can actually do as well. But um, yeah, that's pretty much how you publish your website. And I mean, we just created a free website, you know, pretty fast and pretty easily. Um, just by showing you like how it all works, right? Which is pretty awesome. So that's how you create a free website using Weebly. And guys, look at this website. It's beautiful. You can look at the tours again you can edit all this yourself inside of Weebly um, you can go over here to the home page so you can go over here to like that bell page for example as well you can see we added the video right here of Alan as an example by embedding the video onto our website you can add your own videos of course you can go ahead and go to the news page as well for your website if you have a news page or the contact page and it looks amazing right like this website is actually live so you can probably go to this website right now if you want um and check it out it's just insane right and yeah guys that's how you create a website using weebly so i hope you gain value in today's video if you haven't already click the top link down below in the video description to create your first website using weebly you can go to weebly by clicking the top link down below in the video description and you can start building your website completely for free right now like instantly you can get your website up and running in like 10 minutes or even less um, just by following the steps in today's video so um, i hope you enjoyed today's video um again all links down below to all the resources we mentioned in today's video including weebly bluehost um, shopify all that type of stuff will be linked down below in the video description for your convenience and yeah guys that's exactly how you create your free website using weebly and yeah thanks for watching today's video peace